The global aviation market has long been dominated by intense competition among Western manufacturers. However, amid this rivalry, Comac has emerged as a formidable third player, aiming to disrupt the industry. Backed by one of the fastest growing aviation markets, Comac is set to make a significant impact with its new wide-body aircraft, the C929, and its domestically developed CJ1000A engine. But can China truly compete with the industry giants? What gives them confidence in the C929 and CJ1000A turbofan engine? Let's explore. For decades, the notion of a Chinese company directly challenging Boeing and Airbus seemed highly unlikely. However, in 2008, China took a decisive step to change this perception. That year marked the establishment of COMAC, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, based in Shanghai. With strong state backing and a mission to position China as a key player in the global aviation industry, COMAC entered the scene with a clear goal, to manufacture large commercial aircraft capable of competing with the world's leading brands. Their first project, the ARJ-21, was not an industry game-changer. It was a regional jet designed for just over 100 passengers, yet it took nearly a decade from its maiden flight in 2008 to entering commercial service in 2016. The journey was marked by delays, design obstacles, and technical setbacks, making for a challenging debut. However, for Shanghai, the primary focus wasn't on immediate perfection, but rather on understanding and mastering the rules of the aviation industry. From these early struggles, a significant turning point emerged. Enter the C929, a wide-body passenger jet designed to compete directly with the Boeing 777 and Airbus A350. This marked a major step forward for Comac. Initially launched as a joint venture with Russia, the project encountered hurdles, and by 2023, Russia withdrew due to sanctions and other complications, leaving Comac solely in charge. Yet, rather than a setback, this development provided an opportunity for Shanghai to assume complete ownership and showcase domestic innovation. As CEO He Dongfeng and his team often highlight, China's aviation market is rapidly expanding and is expected to become the largest globally by 2030. This presents Comac with a strategic advantage, allowing it to cater to an ever-growing demand. However, designing an aircraft is just one part of the challenge. Competing against industry veterans like Boeing and Airbus with decades of experience is another. Can the C-929 transform this vision into reality? What makes this aircraft stand out? Starting with its specifications, the C-929 is a wide-body jet capable of seating between 250 to 350 passengers, depending on the cabin configuration. It offers flexibility, allowing airlines to choose between a high-density economy layout for budget travel or a premium design for a more luxurious experience. This adaptability positions the Chinese aircraft as a direct competitor to its Western counterparts. In terms of technology, the C929 focuses on fuel efficiency and passenger comfort. The aircraft is designed with modern, eco-friendly features aimed at minimizing fuel consumption and carbon emissions. Inside, passengers can expect a quieter, smoother ride thanks to advanced materials and cutting-edge aerodynamics. Comac isn't just looking to match Boeing and Airbus. It aims to surpass them in key areas. Another crucial factor is cost. China has a reputation for offering competitive pricing. For instance, the smaller C919 is significantly more affordable than similar models from Boeing and Airbus. While the exact pricing of the C929 remains undisclosed, it is expected to be a major selling point for airlines seeking cost-effective fleet expansion. Nevertheless, the C929 faces some challenges. This limitation may affect its attractiveness for ultra-long-haul routes, a factor airlines must take into account. Despite this, the C929 represents a monumental leap for Comac, a testament to its growing confidence and ambition to compete on a global scale. However, before diving into the challenges, it's essential to highlight Comac's secret weapon, the CJ-1000A turbofan engine. This engine is more than just a power source for the aircraft. It embodies China's aspirations for an independent aviation industry. The success of any aircraft hinges on its engine, and the CJ-1000A, specifically developed for the C-919, underscores China's commitment to reducing reliance on Western technology and fostering a self-sufficient aerospace sector. 
Developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, or AVC, the CJ-1000A project began in 2017. From the outset, it was designed to rival engines like the CFM Leap 1C, which currently powers the C919. With a thrust range of 30,000 to 31,000 pounds, the CJ-1000A is optimized for medium-haul flights. Its performance and efficiency will play a crucial role in determining COMAC's ability to establish itself as a major force in the global aviation market. While being fuel efficient and environmentally friendly, two key priorities for airlines today, the Chinese engine comes with several advanced features. It has an 18-blade titanium fan, high-tech compressors, and a turbine system optimized for lower fuel consumption and reduced emissions. Simply put, it's designed for efficiency, power, and sustainability. However, the journey has not been smooth. The engine's timeline has faced obstacles, from early design difficulties to delays caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. But recently, progress has accelerated. The CJ-1000A has been seen undergoing flight tests on the Xi'an Y-20 transport aircraft, marking an important step into active testing. AECC is now aiming for certification by 2025, aligning perfectly with COMAC's timeline for the C-919. In the future, this engine could also be used for other COMAC aircraft, including the C-929. Beyond its technical specifications, the CJ-1000A carries strategic importance. Geopolitical tensions in recent years have highlighted the risks of relying on foreign technology. For example, during the Trump administration, there was a moment when the delivery of LEAP engines was almost halted due to sanctions. While that issue was eventually resolved, it served as a warning. That said, there's still a long road ahead. Western engines like the LEAP have years of real-world performance data, while the CJ-1000A is just starting its journey. Building trust with airlines will take time particularly in terms of safety and reliability. Scene 2. Challenges Although it remains uncertain which engine will ultimately power the wide-body C929, there is optimism that the CJ-1000A will succeed in test flights and operations. Now, let's examine the challenges faced by the wide-body aircraft program. While the C929 looks impressive on paper, turning it into a global competitor requires overcoming major obstacles. Let's break down the hurdles Shanghai must tackle to compete with Boeing and Airbus. First is production capacity. China is known for its manufacturing strength, but building aircraft is a different challenge altogether. Aircraft production demands extreme precision, and sourcing high-quality components from international suppliers adds another layer of complexity. For instance, many critical parts of the C929, such as avionics and possibly engines, still come from foreign sources. Delays in acquiring these parts could slow down production and delivery. Boeing and Airbus produce dozens of aircraft per month, but COMAC has yet to reach that level. Adding to the challenge is a production backlog. COMAC already has over 1,500 orders for its smaller C919 jets, which, at the current production rate, could take nearly a decade to fulfill. Introducing the C929 means that COMAC will need to significantly increase production capacity, something that is easier said than done. Next is certification. For international operations, an aircraft must meet safety regulations set by major aviation authorities such as the FAA in the United States and EASA in Europe. The big question is, would Western regulators certify a Chinese aircraft? Currently, the C929 is only certified by China's CAAC. Gaining approval from Western regulators could be a long and politically complex process, especially given the current geopolitical climate. Speaking of politics, geopolitical tensions pose another major challenge. Past instances of sanctions have already threatened the supply of critical components, such as U.S.-made engines. If tensions escalate, COMAC may struggle to secure the necessary parts, and without these key components, production could stall. Another major challenge is competition from well-established industry giants. Airbus and Boeing have been dominant for decades, with strong reputations, loyal airline customers, and extensive performance records. Convincing airlines to shift to a new manufacturer like Comac won't be easy. Airlines prefer to see years of proven performance before adopting a new aircraft, especially from a manufacturer with a relatively limited track record. Despite these obstacles, Comac remains determined to challenge the industry leaders with a well-planned strategy. Manufacturing an aircraft like the C929 and an engine like the CJ1000A is one thing, but convincing airlines to adopt them is another challenge altogether. 
Comac understands that relying on technical specifications and low prices alone won't be enough. It needs a broader market strategy. So what is Comac's approach? First, China's domestic market is the foundation of its strategy. China's aviation industry is growing at the fastest rate in the world, with demand projected to surpass all other markets by the 2030 S Scene 2 target markets. With strong state support and a large number of domestic airlines, Comac has a significant advantage at home. Major Chinese carriers like China Eastern Airlines have already integrated the C919 into their fleets and may do the same with the C929 in the future. However, Comac isn't limiting itself to China. It is also targeting markets outside the West, particularly in regions such as the Middle East, Africa, and parts of Asia. These regions are experiencing increasing aviation demand, but often have budget constraints, making Comac's cost-efficient aircraft an attractive option. For example, while Boeing and Airbus aircraft come with high price tags, Comac can offer similar capabilities at a more competitive price. This brings us to another key strategy affordability. Historically, Chinese aircraft have been significantly cheaper than their Western counterparts, making them an appealing choice for smaller airlines and budget-conscious carriers looking to expand their fleets. That said, penetrating Western markets, such as North America and Europe, remains an uphill battle. Certification barriers, geopolitical tensions, and the dominance of Boeing and Airbus make this a difficult goal. However, China isn't ruling out this possibility. While achieving full market penetration may take years, Comac is likely to focus on building trust and expanding through strategic partnerships and smaller deals. Additionally, Comac is emphasizing flexibility. By offering various cabin configurations and customization options, it aims to attract a wider range of airline customers. The C929 is designed to meet different operational needs. Whether airlines prioritize maximizing economy seating for cost-effective routes, or incorporating premium cabins for luxury travel. Of course, challenges remain. But how do you evaluate the potential of this aircraft and the future of the CJ1000A engine? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and safe travels.